What does our faith say about Black Lives Matter? What does it mean to be a Christian in this time, while this topic is front and centre amongst the whole of our Western society? I have no doubt that if we were meeting in person at Connections Church this week, that Black Lives Matter would be a dominant topic of conversation. And it should be too, because we as Christians need to recognise that our faith has a central theme of the need for us to stand up against injustice and to stand with those people who are suffering injustice and who are oppressed and to stand for justice. And that's what the whole Black Lives Matter movement is about. Now let's not get into conversations about whether other people have been hijacking that and and turning it into opportunities for looting and, and violence. We, we know that to be the case, but that doesn't detract from the central theme, which is to say that we as a society have been moved to by seeing with our own eyes if you like in the in the video and, and and the stuff around it by seeing and being confronted with injustice there's a reality of course that that injustice was there beforehand and and maybe we might ask ourselves why it's taken this to to get our society to move but it but it has and here in Australia of course that's we've been reminded that we can't just look at this as something that's happening on the other side of the world because it's part of our experience with our indigenous people here too. And of course there's been a conversation about all lives matter and, and black lives matter and, and uh, a dear friend of mine um, posted Ray posted something really helpful yesterday I thought too. Um, about that, and that's helped me to, to be able to think about the difference between those things. And, and one of the things for me is that all lives matter is, of course, something that motivates us. And it's what motiv- that our recognition that all lives matter is what motivates our need to stand up for Black Lives Matter. Because this is where the injustice is right now. Those people who talk about all lives matter are tapping into the fact that it's not the only place where there's injustice, and that is true. But right now we're talking about the fact that we recognise that black lives, uh, people who um, have a darker skin, have been suffering incredible injustice under our systems. And, and I believe that our faith has a lot to say about that. As, as Christians, we need to recognise that, yeah, we're a product of our time and our society, but we have some timeless teachings that we need to go back to. And, and I believe, well, it's my interpretation and not just mine, that, that the teachings of Jesus talk very strongly about standing up against oppression. And, and standing for those people. Jesus talks about how how God knows each one of us, even to the point of knowing the hairs on our head, and some of us are more than others. But, um, and, but the point that is, is that throughout Jesus' teaching and ministry, he constantly stood for those people who were being rejected by society. I mean, you only have to think about the Good Samaritan story, a story which... A parable that Jesus told, which which spans past just Christianity and, and is recognised throughout the world as as being a, a, a very powerful story, and and within that is is a challenge of prejudice. So, what do we as Christians do about this stuff? Well, I believe we stand alongside of those people who are suffering. I believe we recognise sometimes how little we might have to say because we might not feel like me and 
you're Caucasian, you might not have lived this stuff in the way that other people have. But that doesn't mean that we can't stand alongside of them. And that we shouldn't be the people to try and change our system. But I think there's another aspect of it as well. And that is that our faith is, yes, about standing up against the injustices of society. But it's also about examining our own personal heart and responding in our own lives. Making sure that we live lives where prejudice is challenged and changed, not just around us, but within us. So as we engage with the Black Lives Matter and with the topics around it, may we be moved not just to make a difference in society, but to make a difference in our hearts and in the way that we live our lives.